Nice to be on the couch, am I right, guys? Uh, Phil, if I may ask, why are we all on the couch? Like, doesn't make any sense. We're not gonna, like, watch a movie or a TV show or play a video game together, even though there's no video game that I know of that can have nine players, but... Why are we here? Well, Bruno, the main reason I wanted to be on the couch was because... Well, all the birds normally have this area as their main setting for, uh, when they did all their adventures. So, you know what? Since they no longer use this couch, I think it's the best time for us to use this couch. Ha! <sighs> you know, speaking on this couch topic, this couch is very comfy. Oh man, if only uh, my wife was still around, me and her would have some good times on here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Grandpa, did you seriously have to say that in front of everybody? Yeah. It's not like anyone would care. <gasps> you. You. You? <sighs> Don't even think about it, buddy. I feel like as every year passes through my life, my body is slowly deteriorating. What makes you think that, Oswald? Well, dear cousin, the glue that's used to keep my nose and this, um, strap together is slowly coming off, so... Oh, man, I'm, I, man, imagining a future without my nose is just... Ugh, it's so painful. Ugh, shark puppets. I be getting buckets. If I see you, I'm gonna eat you like a... <gasps> oh, God. Oh, I had that nightmare again. Oh, everybody else is, doesn't really notice. Oh, thank God. <sighs> you know, now that I really think about it, being a doctor in 2020 is so stressful with everything going on in the world. I just need a break from it all. Man, I really wish I could have some more time to myself. I can kind of understand where you're coming from, Dr. Marcy. I think we can all use some time off. Oh, if only there was a way that we can all, like, you know... Just enjoy our lives and not be stuck at home all day. I can probably help with that. Huh? Who said that? None of your business for the time being. I have something fun for all of you to uh, do while you're at home. But that doesn't make any sense. Where's your voice coming from? I don't even remember this house having an intercom. Like, what the hell? Shut up and listen to what I'm saying. Huh? Okay, what do you got to say, random, mysterious voice? You see, I have a theme plan for all of you called a scavenger hunt. A Gallagher hunt? Scavenger hunt. Scandinavian hunt? Scavenger hunt, you old fuck. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, what is a scavenger hunt, mister? Or miss? Or transgender? Or a fox? Shut up, Gordon. <laughs> sorry, Fred. A scavenger hunt is where I give you a list of three different items, and you gotta try and find it for me. And whoever finds all three items will be greatly rewarded. Rewarded, huh? <laughs> hey, what did I tell you about sniffing my ass? So, what are these three objects that you want us to find? Well, it's very simple, dude. I'm looking for a sandwich, a bottle of pop, and a bag of chips. Bag of chips, like, you know, french fries or the chips we use here in America. I'm not British, you idiot. Of course I'm talking about the chips that we use here. Oh, so like Doritos and Cheetos and Fritos and Lay's and... Okay, shut the fuck up and let me continue. Yes, sir. I'm not even a dude. I'm a girl. Bruno, you just misgendered her. No, actually, I'm a guy. What? <laughs> just kidding. Anyways... So, whoever finds all three of these items will be greatly rewarded, like I've already mentioned. Yeah, 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 yeah. What about the rest of us? Well, I'm sorry to break it to you all. The ones who don't give me all three items will all die. What? Ugh. Hey, Mr. Shark Guy. I prefer to be called Shane. Thank you very much. Whatever. Did you even hear what I was talking about? 
uh, no. By the way, where is that voice coming from? We honestly have no idea, Shane. It just came out of nowhere. That's a little strange. Anyway, Shark Guy, since you were sleeping, I might as well re-explain the whole entire thing. Oh, God, no! What? What's the problem? One long explanation later. Wait, Dunstan, you can talk? Oh, I mean, uh, you! Uh, oh my God. You're telling me that if we fail this scavenger hunt, we'll die? Yeah. Uh, how so? I'll decide on that. Don't you worry. Just find the items and you'll be okay. I I, I don't even have any hands. I, I'm gonna fail. I'm gonna die. Ah! Uh, oh God, that was a good shit. Hey, lady. Huh? Where's that voice coming from? We don't know, Doctor Marcy. It's coming from nowhere. Huh? Oh gosh, do we have ghosts in the house? None of your business, lady. Anyways. Did you even know, like, what I was talking about? No, I was sleeping with my eyes open. Uh, what? Exactly. Alright, looks like I'm gonna have to re-explain the whole situation. No, 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 don't re-explain it. Well, let's go down, Phil. Well, I will tell you, but it's gonna take even longer than normal. <gasps> I got an idea. Could you please press the fast-forward button on your remote? Wow. Yes, lady, that's what's going on. Scavenger hunt, find three items, you're gonna die if you don't succeed. All that good stuff. <laughs> Not good stuff. I don't wanna die. Who's gonna take care of the house? That's none of your business. Watch it, that's not for you to worry. I don't even know. Shut up. Oh, God. So when's this scavenger hunt gonna start? Well, it'll start right about... Now. <laughs> oh, oh, Fred's ass. I mean, uh, you. Looking for food. Looking for food. Dr. Marcy's looking for f f f f f f for whoa! Ooh, I already found one item. It's a sandwich. <laughs> a piece of cake. No, it's not cake. It's a, it's a sandwich. A weird kind of sandwich, though. What is that like? The bread they use for like breakfast sandwiches and a salami. That that's not my idea for a sandwich, but it will do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get my wish. I'm gonna go 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 go. <gasps> Wait, the sandwich? Wait, no, no. This is this is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. I mean, the voice didn't say that he wanted the sandwich to be taken a bit out. I I don't know. But like, who took a bite of the sandwich? Mmm, that sandwich tasted like shit, but whatever. It was still decent, I guess. It. Oh, hey, Dr. Marcy. I see you noticed that I took a bite out of my sandwich. That wasn't your sandwich, Cecil. I found it first. Finders keepers. Nope. I already had my germs spread onto it. It's mine. <laughs> you know what? Since this is going to be a competition where everybody else is going to die, I'm gonna give you a worse fate, Cecil. I am gonna get you neutered. Well, joke's on you. I already had that happen. <laughs> you are gonna pay for this, Cecil. <laughs> Isn't this like some sort of form of animal abuse? <laughs> oh. A sandwich. God damn it, I can't pick this up. I'll just screw it over. Okay, he should be dead. Nobody cared about you anyway. <laughs> the sandwich is gone. Who took it and... Shane... <laughs> I am one step closer to getting my wish. Shane? Oh, Dr. Marcy, hello there. 
I got the sandwich. I'm gonna get my wish. Yeah! Shane, you are not going to get that sandwich away from me, you know. I have an advantage over you. I have arms. Something you don't. How are you even able to get the sandwich anyway? I was carrying the play with my mouth. Ouch. But anyways, I have an advantage over you. Give me that sandwich back. Well, I have an advantage over you, Dr. Marcy. Oh, really? What's that? I can scare you. How? Boo. Ah! That was unintentional. Pull you out of your misery. All right. Sandwich time. Ugh. Man, if only I had arms. Dr. Marcy's got a point, though. Ugh. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the revival of Bruno's Outrageous Broadcast. And today's guest with me is my very dear cousin, Oswald. So, Oswald, how are you? Bruno, I'm not going to play your games. Answer the question, Oswald. <sighs> okay. Yes, I'm doing fine. And, um... What would be your one wish if you were to win this whole scavenger hunt? Well, I would definitely love to get a new nose, because this one doesn't work the same as it used to. It falls off more often than it used to. Alright, and um, are you thirsty by any chance? Do you want a drink? Nah, I'm not thirsty, Bruno. Oh, you don't want a drink, huh? Well, that's fine. I'll just take this myself. Well, I will say that's a nice bottle of pop that Bruno has. Bottle of pop. <gasps> that was one of the things that that guy asked for. Oh, I gotta get it. Oh, that sneaky person, Bruno. <laughs> what an idiot that Oswald is. He thinks he's the smartest of us two, but in reality, I am. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna relax here with my bottle of pop. All I need to do is find the other two objects, and then I will be good to go. But in the meantime, I'm just going to relax and... Where's that noise coming from, man? Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, yeah! Gordon! Oh! Hey, Bruno! What's up? Did you just take a piss on my bottle of pop? Yes, I did. I am marking my territory like a dog would. I was expecting somebody like Dunson to do that, not you, Gordon. I have a urinary problem, Bruno. Uh, ugh, God, whatever. You know what? I, I don't even care if I die. Just take the pop. I would rather be dead than, like, you know, touch a bottle of pop that's covered in piss. Ugh. Hey, 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 Bruno, where are you going? What? <gasps> Oh my god, he left the pop here. What an idiot. <laughs> hey, Oswald. Oh, hey, Gordon, what's up? <laughs> I'm gonna get this bottle of pop, and you're gonna die. <laughs> Are you really sure you want to touch that bottle of pop? Yeah, I need it in order to win the scavenger hunt. Uh, are you really sure you want to touch it? Yes, I'm sure. What is wrong with it? It's just Diet Sunkiss. I mean, yeah, it's... Diet Sunkiss and Diet Pop in general tastes like shit, but like, it's nothing's wrong with it. Um, yeah, okay, I'll leave it up to you, but um, just letting you know, I pissed on it. You, you what? Yeah. Oh God, Gordon, you sick fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what are the oldest tricks in the book? Marking your territory to make sure nobody else touches it. Oh, man. Although, unfortunately, I'm going to have to touch this bottle with my mouth, but, uh... Eh, I'm going to try. Uh, uh, oh, God, that's disgusting. Actually, you know what? This actually tastes pretty good. Well, I'm honestly a little surprised nobody bothered trying to take these chips. But they're mine now. All I got to do is find a drink and find that sandwich. But first, I got to relieve myself, if you know what I mean. Now, I just gotta find some lotion. Where is lotion? I don't see it anywhere. You! Huh. <gasps> what are you doing in here? You! Dunstan, what are you doing in here? Do you... 
Do you want the chips? Tell me, man. What do you want from me? I want your ass. Wait a minute, you can talk? Yeah, I can talk. Well, how long? All my life. How come you know before that you only say the word you? Well, because it's my favorite letter in the alphabet. Okay, besides that, why couldn't you talk? Well, it's not that I couldn't talk, I can talk. I just prefer not to because nobody understands me in this house. Well, literally nobody understands you. You only say one word. Oh, you're right. I guess I should have expanded my vocabulary. But, Dunson, just, that's besides the point, Dunson. What do you want? I want your butt, Fred. I told you for the last time, Dunson, you are not going to sniff my butt. Do it, please. I really want it. Well, seeing that you're going to die very soon since, well, I'm going to be the winner of this um, scavenger hunt, might as well. I mean, it's not going to hurt or anything. Eh? Oh, God, it hurts. Oh, smells great. Oh, God. Okay, Dunstan, you had your wish. Now, why are, why are you in the bathroom besides that? Uh, where did he go? You, 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 you. I can't believe it. Dunstan used me. I feel so ashamed. What's going on with my throat? I can't breathe. You just lost the scavenger hunt, Fred. And now you're gonna die. It's the voice again. What do you want? I'm just gonna kill you since you failed. Is this what you're doing to everybody else? Yes. You monster! Now all I only need to do is find a bottle of pop and a sandwich and I will win the scavenger hunt. Dunstan, did you just talk? <gasps> oh god! Dunstan, where are you going? I'm just asking you a question. <laughs> Dunstan? Are you okay? Oh no. He's dead. Oh, poor guy. All I was was just asking him a question. Wait a minute. There are the bag of chips. Well, I do want to have that wish, so... As unfortunate as Dunstan's death is, I gotta, you know, do the scavenger hunt. Well... There's the bag of chips. I don't know where the other two objects are. Well, congratulations there, Phil. You got the bag of chips. Yeah, I know voice, but I don't have the other two objects. I beg to differ. Grandpa? I got the bottle of pop. Well, congratulations there, Gordon. But, uh, Phil, do you know where the sandwich is? No, Grandpa, do you know? I have no idea where the sandwich is. I know. Oh, Shane the Shark. Yes, I am the one that has the sandwich. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Oh, hey there, voice. Shut up, no time for hellos. If I'm not mistaken, didn't that sandwich that you have right there originally had, I don't know, breakfast sandwich buns as the bread instead of a tortilla? Oh, oh, that's the thing. Uh, while I was on my way here, I encountered a fairy and she randomly turned the bread of this, um, sandwich into a tortilla. I, 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 I might have lost the words, but, uh, congratulations on getting the sandwich. So, since I have the sandwich, Gordon has the pop, and Phil has the chips, who wins? It's a three-way tie. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said earlier that, like, one person has to bring all three items. Well, you see there, Phil, if uh, three different people brought each of the objects for the scavenger hunt, then it's a three-way tie, and we're going into sudden death. Sudden death? Sudden death, huh? Well, I'll go get my gun. Now, Gordon, it's not that kind of sudden death. Well, then what is it? Rock, paper, scissors. Aw, that's not as fun. Anyways, since you and Shane were the first two to bring... Uh, the objects over here. I will have you two going off first, and whoever wins gets to go off against Phil. Don't you mean go up 
against Phil? Yeah, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up, and get started with the game. Okay, Shane, let's get started. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Huh, you see, I have paper. What do you got there, Shane? That's very easy, Gordon. I have scissors. Wait, so that means I win? Nope, scissors cut paper, which means I win. Wait, how are you talking with your mouth open? Shh, keep it a secret. Well, Gordon, looks like you lost the first round. That means you're gonna die. Wait, I thought sudden death wasn't gonna involve actual death. They didn't want to be as fun then. Wait, well, hold on, I need a second. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh no, Grandpa's dead. <laughs> Stop crying there, Phil. And now it's your turn, you versus Shane. I don't want to do this anymore. D d hey, don't talk back to me. Just play rock, paper, scissors, or else you and Shane will both die automatically. N no, I, I can't. Do what he says, Phil. Okay, okay, Shane. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, I got paper. What do you got, Shane? I got scissors again, Phil, which means I win. No! <laughs> Aw, Shane, you shouldn't have done that. Done what? You closed your mouth, meaning that your head is now in the shape of a rock. And that means paper covers rock. You lose. Wait, no, no, please don't. Phil, help me, help me, help me out, Phil, Phil! Huh? My dearest grandpa, one of my best friends, now dead, and it's all your fault. No time for that. Now that you won the scavenger hunt, you will come and see me to get your wish. Well, I do have a wish, and I know what I want to wish for. I want to wait until you come see me. Okay. By the way, what do you want to do with the food? Eh, I don't really need the food. Then why did you have a search for it? Just to prove, like, who's worthy of getting the, uh, the wish. Eh, that doesn't really make any sense, but, uh, where are you at, by the way? I will leave the coordinates in your head. My head, what are you at? <laughs> Follow where the leader is. I am here, master. Okay, okay, put you out of your trance. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's the kitchen. Huh. I'm very familiar with this place. Oh my gosh. Is that you, Mr. Voice? Huh? Huh? <gasps> you there. Please. Just get out of here, please. Just don't even be around here. Okay. For the, for, if you're wondering who I am, my name is Jack Ashton. But let me tell you, that voice that you're hearing up there... While that is my voice, it's not me who's doing the voice. Huh? I don't understand. Just, look, the, the guy who's, like, doing the voice, it, it's not me. It's lit, 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 lit. Oh, you're, you're choking? How are you choking? I thought you were the guy who's controlling this. Just please go while you still have the chance. Oh, wow. Poor guy. That still doesn't make any sense. He says that the voice is his voice, but he's not the one that's doing the voice? Then, who is doing that so-called voice? I about have an explanation about this. <gasps> oh, my God. It's you. Hello, Phil. Long time no see. Oh, excuse me for a moment. <laughs> ah, that's better. Hello, Phil. Long time no see, old chum. Lionel Jaff, ah, oh, I should have known. But, why? Why do you have any purpose for, like, doing this? Trying to get, like, some random guy's voice to, like, you know, tell us to do a scavenger hunt, only for everybody else to be killed and only me to survive. Well, when it comes to the voice, Phil, I don't want to give my identity right off the bat. I had to get somebody whose voice did not sound like any of you guys. 
You do realize that your voice sounds pretty much exactly like Bruno's in France, right? Don't talk about that, please. But getting back to what I was doing, this whole plan that I set up, having that guy down there be sort of my puppet, <laughs> it's about time that I'm finally the puppet master. But anyways, I wanted to get my revenge on all of you guys because you guys still won't allow me to be on your show. Like, I, I'm still bothered by that even a year and a half later. Little Jeff, it's pretty obvious why we didn't allow you to be on the show. You're just way too evil, man, and we don't like you. And plus, you know, Oswald in particular told me that, you know, you give him a pretty, uh, a pretty unnerving, you know, presence, I guess you could kind of say. So, Little Jeff, you are not going to be a part of our group, nor will you ever be. What group, Phil? Oh, that's right, you killed all my friends and family. You... Stupid monster! Really? Calling me a stupid monster was your best insult, Phil? I've heard better insults from Dunstan, and he only says one word. Anyways, now that it's just you alive, I need to finish my job and kill you. I think you're forgetting something, Lil Jeff. What's that? That voice that you used to, like, you know, tell us about the scavenger hunt said that... If we were to succeed in the scavenger hunt, we would get whatever wish we want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Darn my stupid promises. I am not going to give you that wish, Phil. Who's the one in control now, dummy? Look over there. It's your grandpa. <gasps> grandpa, are you there? It... <laughs> <laughs> In case you didn't know, this tripod is part gun. Now time to officially finish the job. Greetings, citizens of the internet. I am your new overlord, Little Jeff. As you can probably tell, actually I can't even show this on camera, God damn it. Anyways, I have officially killed Phil and all of his friends. That show is no longer around on this channel. <laughs> and now I will take over as the new ruler of this character workshop channel with the puppet characters and uh What the <sighs> Nobody messes with my grandson like that, you dummy. Actually, you know what? I got an even better punishment for you, buddy. Ah, you can't do this, Gordon. Uh, how did you even make it through my ah, choking trap? Uh. Well, because I used my mind to figure out that you actually don't have the force. You are not Darth Vader, meaning that you can't choke us like he can. <laughs> and now for your punishment. You are going to grant three wishes to us like a genie. Understand? Never. I will never make deal with you, Gordon. Oh yeah? Well, if you don't agree to my demands, I will shit on you for all of eternity. But, wait, what? No, please. Why are you gonna do this? Well, because I knew you were gonna say no to my offer, so I had a plan B. If you don't, I was gonna turn your box into a disintegrator, and it's powered by my shit. So let's get started. <laughs> I'm alive, but how? <laughs> oh, I'm finally awake. What about everybody else? <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. We're all back to life. Who's responsible for this? <laughs> no, Gordon. I swear, don't do it. Too late. All right, I'm gonna close the box, and now for the process to begin. No! <laughs> Thanks for that low-budget sound effect. All right, let's see the moment of truth. Is he okay? I can't even open the box. Open the box for me, cameraman. Not a single piece of little Jeff to be seen. 
I saved the day. Gordon, out of all people, actually saved the day. I never thought I would say this, but thank God for shit. Man, I guess there's a headache after all that and... <gasps> Grandpa! Everybody else, you're alive! Yes, Phil. I'm glad to see that you're okay, and I'm kind of thankful that Gordon actually saved all of our lives. And... Yeah, I was sorry for feeling a little bit competitive right there with the scavenger hunt. And I think we're all sorry about that, am I right, guys? You're definitely right, Shane. But the only question on my mind is... How was Gordon able to, like, you know, survive, you know, little Jeff's little, uh, choking thing? Well, little cat, I have a very reasonable explanation for all of this. Gordon must have got some big amount of knowledge from some random source and was able to figure out all of Little Jeff's tricks. In other words, he was always two steps ahead of Little Jeff. Where did my grandpa get all of this knowledge to stop Little Jeff from doing his plans? That's, like, very dangerous. I don't know how I feel about that. Well, Phil, just be very thankful that he does know, otherwise we all would have died. Yeah, here I am, Oswald. Well, I'm all glad that we're okay. <gasps> oh, thank God. Oh, sorry, everybody. I was just taking a good whiff at this, um, box of Little Jeff's. But, uh, yeah, you're very welcome for saving all of you. And just like Shane mentioned earlier, I am very sorry for, you know, being competitive with all of you. I think we should all apologize to each other right now. Oswald. I'm very sorry for, uh, tricking you about the whole, uh, you know, drink situation. Apology accepted, my good cousin. I'm very sorry that I scared you, Dr. Marcy. That's fine, Shane. Uh, how are you able to talk with your mouth open? Well, I learned this by practicing rock, paper, scissors. Oh, that explains that. You, you, uh, uh, you? You? You don't even talk to me, Dunstan. You, 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 you! You don't have to talk like that anymore. I know that you can actually talk. Okay, sorry about that. What's the matter? How come you're uh, away from everybody else? Dunstan, while everybody else is apologizing to each other for very simple reasons, you, however, used me. You, you made me think that, like, somebody for once was actually interested in my ass, and now... You just, you know, use that to get the chips. And I feel so, you know, used, Dunstan. I, I, I can't, you know, forgive you for doing that. Hmm. Fred, if you could just listen to me one last time, I got something to tell you. Remember when you were with Sakura for a little while? There was a good reason why I was, you know, with you guys quite a lot during your adventures. Because I wanted, I was a bit jealous, I will say. I wanted to be in her position, Fred, because you've always interested me, you know? You're different from everybody else. You're, like, so elegant, so gorgeous. I just, I just wanted to be with you instead of, you know, you being with a pitcher because, I don't know, because I'm more real than a pitcher. You actually mean it, Dunstan? Yes, Fred, from the bottom of my heart. Well... There's something I've wanted to get my, off my chest for a little while. You know, I've tried dating chicks for a while, and that hasn't worked out. Either because they're pitchers, or they just don't like my living conditions, like that one girl that I went on, on a date with. But you know, after hearing your nice words, and after realizing it, I don't need a girl in my life. I need you. You really mean it? Yes, Dunstan. Let's be together. <gasps> yes! Oh, yes, yes, yes! Come on, let's get down to business if you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. <laughs> wow. Dunstan can talk the whole time. What do you think about that, Shane? Shane? <laughs> I promised myself I wouldn't cry, but that's so beautiful. Ah, <laughs> uh, poor Shane. Well, seeing that apparently Fred and Dunstan are now a couple, uh, just... Watch, I I'm gonna assume this movie is probably gonna get, like, some sort of hate comments by a Christian user saying, Oh, you know, gay people are against the Lord and Savior, or something like that. I, I have a feeling that it's probably gonna happen. Just you watch. You know, grandson, after defeating little Jeff and seeing our whole entire group be happy again, I think it's a new beginning for you and your friends, am I right? 
while this may be a new beginning, Grandpa, there's only one type of person out there that'll determine if it is a new beginning. Really? Who's that person? Uh, Phil? Are you gonna respond? I asked you a question, how come you're not responding? Phil? Phil! Grandson, little blonde boy, blue eyes, dark, thick, brown eyebrows. Hello? I asked you a question. Phil? Phil! Phil. Ah! Ah! Sorry about that, Grandpa. I was just, um... Yeah, that was your answer. That was your answer just staring at the camera? Think about it real quick. Oh, I see what you mean. Yes. Yes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the movie. And now, as a little bonus treat for all you viewers who are watching this, we got some bloopers and a few deleted scenes to show you, so enjoy. Give me my wish, or else I will feed you to the termites that were in Dunstan's spot. No, no, anything but that. Give me my wish, little Jeff. Actually, you know what? Since I brought three artifacts, I should get three witches. Not witches, god damn it. <laughs> in case you didn't know, this tripod is part gun. Uh, 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 never. I will never accept your deed, Gordon. <laughs> Where did Gordon get all of this, um, not Gordon, god damn it.